Hey there, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2020. I hope everybody had a great holiday. Well, as you can see, I'm back at this uh, sooner than I thought I'd be, but that's because on Christmas Day, I had a little bit of Christmas magic happen to me. Um, I've been hunting for a certain scout knife for about two years, and lo and behold, I was able to uh, find and acquire it on Christmas Day. So. Um, it popped up like a little Christmas present to me, and I swooped it up, and I'd like to share it with you. But before I show you the knife, um, I want to do something different going forward with these videos. I want to have a couple of guests, a couple of guest appearances by knives that I've previously done videos on, and that way new subscribers can be introduced to some of my older videos, or it'll just be some eye candy on the table as we talk about another knife. So first, let's welcome the amazing Schrade Walden American Army Officer's Knife, which is like a uh, Swiss Army knife, obviously, except that it has this unique church key can opener on the back. So back in the 50s and 60s when this knife was made, you could have opened your steel can of Schlitz or Old Milwaukee with that. That's a fine knife that's as well built as any Winger or Victorinox I've ever seen. And I'm going to do like a vintage knife and I'm going to do a newer knife each time. And so also in the house is a Friedrich Hartkopf. Let's call this a serpentine pen knife or jack knife. I don't know which. It's about four inches long. Uh, this one is clad in ebony wood scales. This is a handmade knife from Solingen, Germany. Um, I like to think of it more as kind of like a half whittler if there is such a thing. Uh, here is the main blade. It's this nice big clip point blade. It is hand forged, not stamped. There's their logo. And instead of a little coping blade or pen blade in the back here like a whittler, this one has a screwdriver cap lifter. So this is a very elegant uh, and useful knife. That one will stay right here. And now to the knife at hand. Um, I was able to find on Christmas Day a New York knife company, Hammer Brands a BS4. Now um, this is just like the BS1, which uh, is a little larger knife at 3 and 5 8 inches. This is a 3 and 3 8 inch model. Um, I would have been happy to get either one, but I was able to get this one. It's a really nice shape and I got it at a great price, so I'm really happy about it. Before we get into the knife, uh, let me just say that I realize that these uh, Boy Scout videos that I do don't get the views that some other videos do. Um, you know, I think that's a shame because it's a great way to learn about some really iconic old U.S. knife makers like New York Knife, uh, like uh, Cataragus, Remington, Ulster. Um, but they just don't get the pull as say maybe like a bikini haul video would. How would I even know what that is you might ask? <laughs> you know I guess I could uh, try on speedos for you guys if that would help. You know you might have to buy me a nice seafood dinner first or something. Um, but New York Knife Company was one of the uh, oldest knife companies in the country. It was founded in uh, 1852 in Matawan, New York. I think that's how you pronounce that. It doesn't really matter because by 1950, uh, 1856, rather, the operation had moved to Walden, and I do know how to pronounce that. Um, they grew to be, I think, the largest knife manufacturer in the country at one point. They made mostly pocket knives, and they were purported to be among the highest quality knives ever made in this country. They went out of business in 1931. They were a victim of the Great Depression and uh, pressures from cheap imports. But the th one thing that kind of blew the company up was one of the owners at the time, James Fuller, tried to auction an entire year's worth of output on one day, September 15th, 1930. I guess they needed cash desperately, but that auction must not have gone well because a couple months later they closed their doors for good. So that's kind of sad, uh, but New York Knife Company made Boy Scout knives from 1911, one year after the Boy Scouts of America was formed in this country, until they went out of business in 1931. So what they made at first was a knife that looked like this, an equal end four-bladed uh, utility knife with uh, kind of lighter brown uh, bone handles here and a banner shield. It had a uh, spear blade 
Spearmaster, a uh, short stubby screwdriver cap lifter, a one piece plunge style can opener, and a smooth awl which is broken off on this one. Uh, the very first one had a very large permanently attached bail. They're quite rare and then the second generation of that first model had this uh, temporarily or removable uh, shackle here. But this knife remained pretty much like this until 1923 when New York Knife Company lost their monopoly for making official Boy Scout of America knives and Remington and Ulster were uh, able to start providing knives for the Scouts. At that point in time they changed this banner shield to a oval shield with the Scouts uh, Fleur de Lis in there and the motto be prepared, I'll show you that in a minute. Because it also then in 1926, I guess just to up their game uh, and keep up with the competition, New York Knife Company under the Hammer brand logo introduced an entirely new model. And uh, that's the one I got on Christmas Day. And what I think is so special about it is that it is unique among four-bladed utility knives that are official Boy Scout knives. Uh, every implement on this knife is different than what you'll find on other official Boy Scout four-blade utility knives. Let's just take a look at the outside quickly here. Here's that banner shield they switched to in 1923. And you can see the Jig brown bone scales are much darker now. They retain the threaded nickel silver bolsters, the uh, removable nickel silver uh, shackle here. But uh, the first thing that you'll, you might notice that's different is that it has a clip point blade. Now this is the uh, BS number four, as I mentioned, it's the three and three eighths inch model. There was a BS one, which is three and five eighths inch. And they were both offered with a spear blade and a clip master blade. Uh, I saw one, a BS4, at the blade show last summer in June. The dealer wanted a very high price for it and he wouldn't come down a dollar. Um, so I had to walk away from it. But it had a spear point blade and I really wanted a clip point blade so I'm glad I held out. So I got this one for substantially less and it's got the features that I want. Um, so here you can see New York Knife Company's Hammer Brand logo. Let's see if we can get that in focus. And I really love this logo. It looks like kind of a cartoon arm and hand yield, uh, wielding a big forging hammer. And it's just a really great logo. And on the back here you can see where it says um, BS4 Official. Now the O on the official is kind of uh, obliterated there but you can make it out. Uh, originally this knife would have had a etch here that said uh, official knife Boy Scouts of America and, have, and would have had the uh, first class emblem there but uh, those quickly wore away and just a word about the condition of this knife um, it was at one time as you can see here uh, heavily corroded you know there's evidence of that from the pitting here on the carbon steel springs um, and so this blade has been polished. The tools have been polished on this knife a little more heavily than I would have liked to have seen, a little more aggressive. Um, but it's okay because all the tools are here. They're all full, nothing's broken or shortened. Uh, the action is great, the knife has great snap. Um, all the stampings are correct and in the right place. Um, the bone covers are perfect. There are no cracks, chips, or slivers missing. So I'm super happy with it, um, but yeah, you won't find that etch, that's for sure. Okay, so that's a look at the main blade. Now that's different, you, you won't find a clip point blade on any other official Boy Scout of America four blade utility knife. And also a different tool that you won't find is, um, let's see if I can get this open here, yeah. A tapered screwdriver with wire strippers, no, no, no bottle opener. So here we got two wire strippers on one side, one is tapered, and on the other it's kind of squared off. And here is a, uh, another stamp, New York Knife Co. Walden. And uh, just a word again about condition of knives and uh, what to look for to tell if your knife is a reworked knife or rebuilt. Um, a, a knife that's obviously been polished like this, um, 
it, you know, here you can see where the polishing wheel couldn't reach and there's still corrosion, um, you know, on the tang of some of the tools. You can look at the bolsters, you can look at the pins, um, you can do a lot of things, but if you see that, you pretty well know the knife's been, not been taken apart because typically when somebody takes a knife apart and they polish a tool, they'll polish the whole thing, tang and all. So just another little thing to look for. And then this knife had also another unique tool for Boy Scout knives, a combination uh, can opener, bottle opener. And I know the bottle opener works well because I tried it, <laughs> but I'm not about ready to try the can opener. Uh, I don't want to risk breaking the tip or anything like that, but uh, uh, you know, it looks like it would be effective. It's a bit small. There are no markings on this. There is a half stop. There's a half stop on both of this, both of the tools on this end. And then the last implement is the awl or punch. It's also unique in that it's spiraled. And um, you know, you'll find spiraled awls and you'll find combination cap lifter can openers on other scout type knives, but not on official Boy Scout of American knives, just on this model. Now this, uh, these typically have a patent number in here, and at first I thought that had been polished off, uh, but then later under magnification, I actually found it here on the front, on this tang, and I don't know if it'll show up under the camera, um, but that patent number was 1 comma, 171 comma, 422. And if you look at this just right uh, under magnification, you can see the 1 comma in the front and the 422 in the back. Again, that one's got a half stop. And so um, this is the BS4, and I mentioned that the BS1 was a little larger. Um, they also made civilian versions of these knives, and those were the Buffalo Bill commemoratives. There was the BB1 and the BB4. Now I happen to have a BB1, so I can hold it up against this BS4 here, and you can see the size difference. So if this knife were a BS1, it would look just like this, but it would have this fleur-de-lis be prepared badge here uh, instead of this likeness of Buffalo Bill. And of course, then it would have had also the, you know, the etch on the blade and things like that. Now, the, you might be wondering what the BS2 and the BS3 was. The BS2 was a two-bladed jackknife and the uh, BS3 was like the BS1, this knife just a little bigger, with pearl handles, or pearlized handles, and those are very, very rare. But this knife is uh, hard to come by, it's very sought after by collectors. You know, it's only made for five years, and um, one of my reference books, The Standard Guide to Knife Collecting, gives this uh, knife uh, a collectability rating of top priority. And, um, you know, I, I did look through my reference books to get some information on this knife, and I did get a lot of handy information from Ed Holbrook's official um, Scout Blades book. Uh, he puts ads, old vintage ads, in his book, and this is the only ad they had for this knife. Um, but here you can see the etch on the blade. This one has the clip point blade. And they wanted a whopping $1.23 for this knife. How outrageous. <laughs> Man, I wish I had a time machine. I would go back and I would fill up a trunk full of these knives. But here's one thing I found interesting down here. It says um, full size bone stag handle, three and five eighths inches long. And then it says official Girl Scout knife. And it's the same model number, save the last number, three and three eighths inches long. It's also the dollar 23. The interesting thing about that is that New York Knife Company, Hammer Brands, never made an official Girl Scout knife. Um, they did make a Campfire Girls knife, and it was somewhat similar, but a little bit different than these knives. So that ad is obviously just referring to the smaller size Boy Scout knife. I mean, after all, this does have uh, the designation BS4, not GS4. So there's been an in-depth look at the New York Knife Company Hammer Brands uh, BS4 official Scout knife, somewhere between 1926 and 1931. Um, that will take now its rightful place in my collection. Uh, as always, I appreciate you watching and have fun collecting.